Okay, I have here a couple of Simplex modules, a transmitter and the receiver. I got them both off Amazon for about £2 a pair. They both work on 433 MHz and they're quite popular with Arduino and Raspberry Pi enthusiasts. However, if you've tried using them without the microcontroller and its libraries, then you've probably run into um, a bit of a problem. An electronics enthusiast's number one enemy, noise. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have a pretty simple arrangement. I've got five volts coming into the receiver here. Uh, on the outputs, just a simple resistor through to an LED. The transmitter, it's basically just on a six volt supply using two uh, lithium cell batteries here, each of three volts. So basically when I when I touch this this wire to the positive terminal of the battery, it transmits. And as you saw there, my light just blunk. Blunk? Is that a word? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically by, by, by doing this, I can modulate a low frequency square wave. And every time I touch the battery, uh, my LED comes on, which is great. So if I do it a bit faster, I can modulate a faster square wave. Great. But if I stop doing that, see that? The noise creeps in. And that's that's not a digital high, it's not a digital low either, that's just a, a bunch load of voltages making a load of noise and it's it's horrible. It's just horrible. We're not transmitting anything, so we don't want to receive anything. Um, what we need here is, is something to, to get rid of all that noise. Okay, here's the connection diagram for the transmitter. It's pretty simple. It starts transmitting as soon as it's connected up to the power supply. And over here is the receiver. This is the way it's wired up at the moment. Uh, basically five volts in and from the output straight the LED through a resistor. Again pretty simple. Uh, to get rid of the noise all I'm going to do is stick in just one component. That being a capacitor. An electrolytic capacitor. The receiver has its capacitor, it's 220 microfarads, and as you can see, the LED is not coming on. The LED will only come on if we give a voltage to the transmitter. So a voltage goes in the transmitter, and a voltage comes out the receiver. Brilliant. What's happening is the, the capacitor is just soaking up the varying levels of voltage coming out the receiver when the receiver's not receiving anything. Those voltages, they're rather low. They're high enough to turn the LED on, but not high enough to be considered a logical output. So the capacitor, it's just it's just sucking up all them voltages, just keeping them to, the, to itself, not allowing the LED to get any. Only when the transmitter transmits do we get a high voltage coming from the output of the receiver, fully charging the capacitor and allowing the LED to light up. The, the voltage disappears and we get the noise back and the capacitor is working again as a filter. So just one component, a capacitor, that's all we need to filter out the noise from this simplex pair. Quite simple.